All right, everyone, we're all set up here for Yarn Town All Bosses to be run by Giant Cookie Jar, who, if you don't know, is this incredible person in the Bloodborne community who finds all these wonderful glitches. So you should definitely give them a follow if this game doesn't convince you to follow them. Um, but I'm not going to be reading any donations for this run because Cookie needs to hear the game. And apparently it is quite loud and doesn't allow you to yeah. alter <laughs> audios. So I'm, I'm so going to be sorry. quiet. It's a short run. Um, take it away, Giant Cookie. You're going to do great. All right. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, so yeah, this is a 2D Zelda-like game that inspired... No, wait. That is inspired by Bloodborne. I want to say that inspired from stuff. I mean, Bloodborne, but that doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to count down from free, and then uh, I'll start the speedrun. So, uh, from free. Oh, wait. So, on free. Two and one and go. So right away I'm gonna apologize because I'm gonna pretty much spam space the entire time of the speedrun because rolling in this game is the fastest method of moving. Um, so I'm going to make my way to the first boss but before I do that I'm gonna do a quick skip and that was the skip. So normally um, that's supposed to be a shortcut, in order to get that shortcut you just uh, attack the lever, uh, but since our attack hitbox is so big we can just uh, hit it through the fence. So now we're entering the first boss fight, which is Cleric Beast, and Cleric Beast we can just AI move him, which is honestly not too unfamiliar with the actual Bloodborne game. Oh god, uh, I messed up here a little. Okay, everything is fine. So that was the first boss, and we're already halfway done with this speed run, because there are only two bosses in this game. So now we're going to make our way to the second boss, which is going to be gas coin and we're gonna do another skip here which is not too different from the from the first skip with the only difference that we do a charge attack so now we're we're in the sewers and once we get out of the sewers we're going to make our way to the gas coin arena and the strat for gas coin is not too different from the casual playthrough uh, strat where you just make use of the environment. So what I'm gonna do here is, oh god, I'm gonna lure Gascoin to the center and I'm just gonna, oh god, cheese Gascoin like this. Oh god, Gascoin is being very difficult right now. And this is how we're just gonna fight Gascoin. And funny enough, um, in the 1.0 version, it used to be a lot more easier to fight Gascoin because you could just AI freeze him. Oh god. Which is also not too unfamiliar with uh, actual Bloodborne, where you can AI freeze some bosses. Uh, once I kill this boss, this, oh, this run is not over because. Uh, the run finishes once I talk to Max, the creator of this uh, little game. Oh god. Ah, stop being so difficult, Gascoin! Ah, finally. So, we can find Max right on top of here. And now we're done. That was the entire speed run. I know it was a short little speed run, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, thanks for uh, Speed Souls for allowing me to uh, showcase such a short speed run. But uh, yeah. <laughs>